Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So fine, I've been on fire with Sally Field, gone fast with a girl named Bo. But somehow they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. I take my chances. I die for a living in the movies and TV. But the hardest thing I ever do is watch my leading ladies kiss some other guy while I'm bandaging my knee. I might fall from a tall building. I might roll a brand new car. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman that made Redford such a star. I've never spent much time in school, but I taught ladies plenty. It's true, I hire my body out for pay. Hey, hey, I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch. But when I wind up in the hay, it's only hay. Hey, hey, I might jump an open drawbridge or Tarzan from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuff. Makes Eastwood look so fine on Kenny Hale's face when he heard the scores of last night's game. <laughs> Listen, uh, Cole, Sky Kelly's mother just called. I didn't know Sky Kelly had a mother. I thought he was hatched by the Bunko Squad. She's very, very sick. She needs to see you as soon as possible because Sky's in desperate trouble. Oh, yeah? What is it, somebody else's money or somebody else's wife? <laughs> she didn't give me the details. She just said that he's in Argentina, he's in jail, and he's going to be hanged. And they say there's no justice? <laughs> I've never seen you so cold. Cold? I'm hot. I mean, just the mention of Sky Kelly's name makes me hot, you understand? Well, it's been a long time. Maybe he's changed. Come on, his mother's just as bad as he is. I don't trust either one of them. Uh, gee, Colt, I'm really sorry you feel that way. Because I told her she could wait for you at your house. Oh, what? All right, but this better not take long. I gotta wash my truck. Not like the other boys. No, Sky always had something extra. Yeah, probably some other kid's bicycle. Cold. No, no, sweetie, no, that's all right. He's absolutely right. No, Sky always did like to taste of life's banquet. Mm, never particularly cared who picked up the check either. Now, Colt, I know I have absolutely no right to ask this of you, but. Could you please go to Argentina and get my boy out of jail before it's too late? Please, go. Save my sky. <coughs> please. Ain't that awful? She croaked before she ever got a chance to tell us exactly where in Argentina to find poor old Sky. Borrego, Borrego. Uh, you wouldn't exactly know uh, why old Sky's in the slammer there, would you? Oh, does it really matter now? It's Terry. I don't believe it. Wow, I never would have seen through that disguise. You knew all along she wasn't Sky's mother. Was it really that bad? No, you were fantastic. The problem is that Skye's mother weighs about 300 pounds, is a blackjack dealer in Reno, and the last time Skye visited her, he sold her clothes to pay off a loan shark. <laughs> Does this mean you're not going? Well, why is it so important to you that I get Skye off the hook? He owes me money! Heck, he owes everybody money. What's he doing in Argentina, anyway? 
Uh, I don't really know. He said something about running a private charter airline service. Oh, that makes sense. The only thing he ever owned was a beat-up old airplane. Well, he really is in jail, and he's waiting for the hangman. I found that out from the American Embassy in Argentina. Well, I wouldn't worry about him hanging. If he ever gets to the gallows, he'd probably pawn off the rope. <laughs> yeah, but what if they do hang him? Cold? Where's my money? Such warmth. Cold. Please, go to Argentina for me, please. Give me one good reason. For me? I said a good reason. Dry money. For money. You're not seriously thinking about going down to Argentina to save that creep's neck, are you? What? Of course not. Let me think, I've lost all my marbles. Colt, you really have lost all your marbles. Why, I said I wasn't going. I didn't say anything about we. Besides, friendship is thicker than IQ points. Well, we might as well look at the bright side. The jail where they're holding Sky is located right in the heart of Argentina's horse country. Yeah, what figures? Everybody knows that Skies are genuine horses. I sympathize, Senor Moreno. But I'm afraid that I can't release Sky Kelly into your custody. He has certain rights. And what about my rights as a rancher whom he victimized? You leave me alone with him for five minutes. I will not only persuade him to tell me where he's hidden what he stole from me, but deliver you his confession as well, signed in blood. I am sworn to uphold the law, senor. And any law which protects criminals must be changed by any means necessary. Senor Moreno. Don't do anything foolish. Try to be patient, though. Patient? Sky Kelly stole the embryos of my finest thoroughbred horses. Everything I have is invested in that breeding. They must be transplanted to suitable mares quickly, or I will lose everything. Sky Kelly will get his just desert, Senor Moreno, according to law. Breeding horses is ruled by the laws of nature, not your laws, Senor Silvera. Policia. That means police, Colt. Thank you, kid. Hello. What can I do for you? You're the police chief of this district? That's right. I'm Chief Silvera. And you are uh, Colt Siebers, huh? Uh, your friend, Scott Kelly, he uh, gave me a photograph. Why? Well, he said he wanted to use you as a character. We would like to see the prisoner. Very well. Your friend's in trouble. He has to answer some very serious charges. Augusto! Would I lead you astray? Do what I tell you. Senor Kelly! You have visitors. Jesus, in time, it's a miracle. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. I knew you wouldn't desert me in the pits of my despair. Just let me look at you both. And drink in the savage beauty of your manly faces. These are my companeros at Pelegro. That means companions in danger. <laughs> Get away from the wall. <clears throat> Why? I'll explain right after the explosion. Explosion? Come on, they're gonna think you helped me escape. What should we do, Colt? No choice. Break out of jail. Come on! The truck! Well, what about our luggage and our passport? It won't do us any good if we're dead!
suit to fire up the old blood, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Howie, I want to do this right. I'd like to present to you Senor Marita Escalita Ramirez, huh? Right? <laughs> My sweet little rose from Argentina. Senor Sievers, it's a great pleasure to meet you. <laughs> you are even more handsome than your photos which Sky gave to everyone. Why are you passing out pictures of Colt? I prize his friendship. I want the world to share my joy. Yeah, well, I want some straight answers, or I'm gonna let the road share your face. Now, why the con to get us down here? Hey, I was a condemned man in need of friendly intervention. Yeah, well, she intervened a hole in your jailhouse wall. You didn't need us to do that for you. Well, the truth is, there are some additional circumstances. Oh, yeah, like the fact that we're now accessories to a jailbreak in a foreign country, and all of our cash, clothes, and passports are in a car that's in the hands of the police. Yeah. Cole, oh, you gotta teach the boy not to sweat the small stuff. Come on, Sky, what's the story? Let's talk about it over a cerveza, huh? I mean, that's Spanish, Spanish for beer. beer. Right. I expect the truth. Now, that's English for lie to me again, and you lose your teeth. Picky, picky, picky. Loosen up, Colt. Hey, don't be shy. Try these. But the police chief said there's serious charges against you. Now, like what? Colt, really, it's hardly worth mentioning. Salute. I mention it anyway. It seems there's a minor dispute about some personal property that some uh, pushy character claims belongs to him. There are serious charges against you by now. This is a crooked force. You'll be in jail for 15 years. Ah, try the green ones. They'll really steam clean your tongue. What did you steal? 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 Oh, that's such a harsh word. Shh, Estralita, she's gonna be hurt if you don't listen to her audition for you. Go, honey, go, baby. Uh, me? Why is she auditioning for me? I told her you were a big Hollywood producer. What? Cult, cult, everyone has a dream. In the morning, we're taking you back to jail. Howie, would you talk some sense into him? Oh, I can't talk, my throat's itched. What? Don't move, senor. I told you they're crooked. Slip them a cup of hundred or we'll go to jail for 50 years. Two hundred dollars, huh? No way. There's a big reward, my friend, and all I have to do is bring back your heads. Now, all of you, stand up. Vamonos! Vamonos, amigo! <laughs> My God, Colt, handle him! That was great, Colt! Will you shut up, Sky? Hey, Sky, don't you have a plane? Yeah, it's, uh, the Lady Lulu. It's stashed outside of town. Come on, we're getting out of this country. Come on, Estrelita! What a guy! What a guy! When do we get to the Lady Lulu? We're there! It was so are the police. So what do we do, Cole? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You are like drunken men. All talk and no action. Look at that, my angel bird's gonna do the trick. She's gonna get shot, killed. But for what better cause? What are you talking about? Getting killed over me. Vamonos! Se escapa la mujer! It worked! It worked! Get us airborne. You have to treat Lady Lulu like a woman. You just don't seize her and demand action. Come on, come on, you hunk of junk! Come on, turn over! Your friend is very astute. Will you take off and stop going side to side? 
I can't because he shot the aileron. That's not the aileron that goes side to side. Then he shot the rudder. How do I know? Look out! The car on the right's gonna nail us. I'll take care of him. No, no, hey, he, he's magnifico. Me, I'm, I'm fantastico. Hey, well, El Fantastico, if we can't get El Lulu's oil line fixed, we're on the El Torletto. It's the only way out of here. Will you take it easy? Estrelita's father has a farm, and, and the barn's full of scrap parts. Are you sure? Hey, would I lie to you? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. I want to see me, Senor Moreno. Come in, come in. Si, Senor. Kelly has broken out of jail. Some of the men saw him in a cantina. He's running from Silvera's men with Estrelita Ramirez and two Americans who no doubt helped him to escape. Ramirez? Isn't he one of your tenant farmers? Hmm. So you think they're headed to his farm? Perhaps. I want Kelly before Silvera finds him. You tell the men there will be a generous reward. Now that he's a free man, he's fair game. See, si, Jefe. This is a bunch of junk. I didn't promise an aircraft supply store. He's been fixing a motorcycle, not an airplane. Doctor Severs. Senor Kelly told me he had the power to make my Estrellita to be the next Charro. You made me very proud. Yeah, thanks. Ramirez, you have to understand, he's a big operator. It might not be worth his while. What about this? Que bonita, see? I buy this at auction. Used only by angels of hell. Two years I work on it. Now she is ready. Uh, oil line tubing, El Creepo, comprende? No sweat. That can wait. Now, Colt, I want you to see something. It is really important.
rabbit sky? These are very special bunnies. They're the reason I was in the slammer. You put us through all of this for bunnies? Hey, there are rabbits and there are rabbits. These aren't your ordinary fluffy rodents. I don't think I want to hear anymore. It makes two of us. Colt, listen. For the first time in my life, I've committed a totally unselfish act. You see, I've become a godfather to an orphanage in Texas. And these snowy white, pink-eyed little bunnies, they're going to be pets for the, for the love-starved, you know, tiny children who live there. Cover the bunnies. Seguida, muchachos. Rápido. Señor Kelly! Señor Sievers! I don't know if you've heard this before. You've got ten seconds to get out of there. We're coming in to get you. One. Two. It's basically Sky. They want let's just hand him over. Don't listen to him. I'm your friend. Hey kid, I think at this point they'd like to get a noose around all our necks. Uh, you heard him? I knew you'd stick by me, buddy. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, I guess we just have to Eight. do some improvising. Nine. Ten. Come out now! Transmission is coming out. Ah. Uh. Hey, maybe those gauchos can give us a lift. At least lend us some horses, huh? I wouldn't mind some grub either. I'm starved. Come on. Howdy. Senores. Me and my compadres here, we, uh... Oh, your fire thought we might come set a spell. Sit down, por favor. Gracias. Nice looking horses. The best. Imagine there's a pretty good market for those around the world, like uh, Arabian stallions. Oh, there could be, except uh, we have a problem exporting them. <laughs> they don't win in English. <laughs> Just a witticism. The problem, Colt, is that there's an outbreak of fever ticks. They're not allowing any new stock in the United States, but I... I hear there's a way to get around that. Oh, we simply ship them before they are born. We remove the embryo from the mares. Hey, well, what's harm... all this talk about embryo and everything? Ugh, come on. I'm trying, to, trying to eat my food. <laughs> got trouble. That's Moreno's foreman. Who's Moreno? He's a big horse breeder around here. He's the reason I was put in jail. It wasn't my fault. What well, wasn't your fault? It's a long story.
Well, Kelly, how convenient for you and your friends to be on Senor Moreno's land. Senor Moreno has promised us a fine reward, amigos, for them. I will take the one called Seavers. This ought to work perfect. We can fix the oil line break with this tubing. But uh, we got a bigger problem. Yeah? Like what? One of the slugs severed the rudder cable. Which means? Which means we can't fly in a straight line. Uh, well, Colt's going to be back from the farm with the welding equipment any time now. So. I could have got it in a lot easier. You could have also left this in the lurch. Hey, do I sense a sense of distrust seeping in between us? Seeping in? Try a tidal wave. You just want to bring those bunnies back here. Hey, that is not true. I, I mean, how can you say that? You, you leave me speechless. I wish. How can you be so cruel and hard-hearted? What about those little kids in the orphanage? Stow it, Sky. I'm not buying. Okay, you're going to force me to do something I've never done before in my life. Howie, I am going to level with you. Will you give it a rest, guy? I swear to you, I swear this is the truth. I swear it on my mother's grave. Your mother's still alive. Nobody lives forever. Remember you talking about those horses and everything with the fever ticks? What's that got to do with rabbits? What are rabbits good for? I don't know, Easter. Uh, all right, besides that. Magicians like to pull them out of hats. That's a good trick, but I'm talking about the miracle of breeding. Those rabbits are carrying Marino's horse embryos? I know it's hard to believe. No, it isn't. I know it could be done. Bingo! You got it. That's right. I had a veterinarian take every little baby horsey, right? And put it into every little mummy bunny. No wonder it was so important for you to bring those rabbits back to the States. We got two days to put the embryos back into the mare. It's a simple but brilliant plan, but that's the kind of guy I am. You're a horse thief. That's the kind of guy you are. Hey, there's no law against stealing unborn horses. Besides Marino, he probably stole from all his people around him just to get his millions. I mean, we're just evening up the score. Look, we're all going to get rich. It's like Robin Hood. That's it. Robin Hood. Yeah, let's try this in the plane. Robin Hood. <laughs> I have not saved him! He has not been here! You and Kelly will tell him! Do it! Where is he? Dying! Where's Kelly? Uh. Carajo, you are a great producer. Well, it looks like this tubing should work. I'd feel a heck of a lot better if we had some baleen wire to tie it off with. Got anything like that around, Sky? Sky? <laughs> Guy. What the heck do you think you're doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I thought you said the rudder cable was broken. Well, it's not broken, just a little frayed, that's all. Well, what about Colt? Colt, Colt wants to walk away from a half a million dollars. In my book, that makes him a, a man with it. It's crazy. 
Yeah, well, in my book, that makes him an honest man. What kind of a shabby excuse is that? Listen, look, listen to me. Just you and me, right? We'll hide the plane. We get the rabbits. We sell them to this rancher that I got lined up in Texas. We'll, we'll split the booty right down the middle, huh? 80-20. Guy, you give treachery a bad name. Okay, 70-30. 60-40? You think Colt's stranded just like that? Hey, Amico, will you lighten up? I wouldn't really have abandoned Colt. I, I, I was just making sure you were as loyal to him as me. Yeah, come on. Oh, she fixed the rudder cable just fine. A car. It must be Moreno's men. You get this equipment to the plane. I'll give him something to run at. finds out what you've done. Oh, I gotta tell you something. Yeah, well, tell me on the plane. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's important. I uh, go. There's no time. Hurry. Mi cariñito. <laughs> What's she doing on the plane? That's part of what I was trying to tell you. What's the other part? This. Rabbits. Some people might look upon them as rabbits. I see them more as two million dollars. Hey, it's no good. Get them off. Uh, Cole, I, I think we had to leave the rabbits where they are. Why? Well, uh, for the same reason that I let them on board in the first place. Listen to him, Colt. The rabbits go with us. No oh, rabbits, and that's final. Colt, amigo, do not push your luck as much as it pains me. I wouldn't hesitate to blow your head off. Unfortunately, I can't trust you, and so... Now, here's the plan, Cole. You fly the plane, I hold the gun. How about I sit here, you hold the gun, they come shoot us. What are you talking about, who's they? Well, Marino's gauchos or Severa's deputies. Does it matter? <laughs> All of Argentina hates you. Make that the entire United Nations. Uh, it's the gauchos. Come on, let's move it now. Hey, you shoot me, they shoot me. What's the difference? I think I'll just sit this one out. Are you crazy? They're serious. Well, you're not. Yeah, I mean, oh, well... They're almost in range. Not that serious. The guns guy? Thank you. 
great, Sky. You are driving it. Fly means to the air. Hell's frozen. We, we, we can't get up. We've been boloed. Stop us now. There was nothing mean trees. How much gas in the wing tanks? I think enough to get us airborne. We can cross feed off the auxiliary tanks when we're level. Good. We get airborne, we got it made. Oh Lord, just get us just, just get us past those trees. I'll become a different person. Farewell to you, Argentina. Hello, you all, Texas Plains. <laughs> Colt, I'm gonna tell you something. It's great to be young, free, and gorgeous like me. Hey, little lady, guess where you're going, huh? You're going to Texas, where they got carrots the size of baseball bats. <laughs> How do you like that? He's even counting the rabbits. And Uncle Sky's gonna convert all those little horsies in your little tummy into good old American dollars, huh? <laughs> Some trick, huh? You got it wrong, Uncle Sky. Your buddies are going back to where they belong, to Marino's. Marino's? Are you crazy? He used my head for polo practice. Mr. Lita, can you see Marino's ranch from here? Mm, not yet. Of course, you can't be serious. <laughs> We got to, we're home free. We got the whole enchilada by the brass frioli. I mean, no more beer and pretzels. It's, it's champagne and filet mignon, color TV in every room. Oh, no, not room, every cell. Cole, please. We're both rational human beings. Please, all right, we may not see eye to eye on everything. There, to the left. His stables are over there, and this private landing strip is just beyond it. Cole, listen to me. Lady Luck, knock on your door. Don't spit on her tiara. Mr. Lotto, will you talk to him? No. No? No? Why not? I think maybe you lied to me about getting me a job singing in Hollywood. I know you lied to me about the rabbits. That means nothing. I lied to everybody. Here, Allie. Keep your eye on him, huh? One move in these rabbits, too. Where you going, Colt? A little trick I always wanted to try. Saben lo que tienen que hacer. Pero guárdalo. Senor Marino? Yes. My name is Colt Seavers. I believe this property belongs to you. A rabbit? Horses. You'll find the embryos inside the rabbits. Where's Kelly? He's uh, in the plane. Bring Kelly to me, and the rest of these rabbits as well. Uh, Senor Marino, I want you to know that me and my friend had nothing to do with this. Well, since you returned my property, I will accept that. You seem like an honorable man. All I want now is Kelly. Yeah, well, he's, he's coming. I can tell you are angry with me, Mama Cita. Uh, please, believe me, all my heart, it's old Sky here, he would never... I would do nothing, anything to hurt you, really. I can't believe you. You held a gun on your friend. That is not the way compadres act with one another. I know. All, the, all that talk, too, about, uh, you know, Hollywood and, and singing and... Uh, believe me, sometimes I even... I fool myself. You are a fool. What? You are a fool if you think that is the only reason I love you. It's not the only reason. No. I love you even if you do talk like an estafador. An estafador witch? It's kind of like a swindler. <sighs> oh, honey, sweetheart. <laughs> Angel. Gosh, to think. You mean that all along you knew? Oh. I will see that justice is done. Call for the love of mercy. You can't leave me here with him. He will be tried according to the laws of my country. I am an honorable man. Oh, I can see that, but uh, you have one big problem. 
You'll have to ship the rabbits right away, because if Silvera impounds them as evidence for Skye's trial, you'll wind up with a lot of justice and no money. Senor, you would make an excellent attorney. However, there is the matter of honor. Colt, his honor means my head. I would like to pay you and your friend for the uh, inconvenience you have suffered. Uh, Five thousand dollars. I'm sorry, but uh, we can't accept that. Ah, you are also an honorable man. Well, that's uh, that's too bad. Hold them all. What's next? <laughs> it's simple. There can be no trial if the criminal is dead, and without witnesses, no one will ever know. Excuse me. The scene looked familiar to you, Bing. Yeah. Right out of the Hope Crosby picture. Yeah. Patty cake, patty cake, gone and flip their gourds. Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Oh no, not you again. Come on. We have unloaded all the rabbits, Senor Moreno. I knew you wouldn't leave me there to play target for those pampas pirates. Well, it took some doing, but I fought the temptation. There isn't enough gasoline to get us across the border. Is there any extra gas around here? Sure, there's plenty behind that Quonset hut. All right, we gotta get him. Lady Lulu's had her last flight. What are you talking about? You'll see. There isn't time to refuel. They're going to catch us and shoot us. Not unless they think we're dead beforehand. I got it, Los! All right, everyone get ready to bail out. Okay, out. Run fast, get out of here. They hit my gas tanks! <laughs> why, oh, why did you do that? Make them think that we're dead, you dead beat. So what's our plan? Well, we walked to Paraguay and freed them. It's only 40 miles. Not me, I'm not going anywhere. We certainly can't stay here. No, I'm a free man. Besides me and Estrellita got a lot of making up to do. What are you talking about? Well... I just can't walk away now. I mean, being dead is the opportunity of a lifetime. Come on. We'll see ya. See ya. Bye. Hey, thanks! Adios! Bye! Take care of yourselves! Here. I want you all to try this. It's Argentinian wine. They're starting a whole new industry down there, you know. Well, where'd you get the bottle? Sky sent it to me. Sky sent you wine? Yeah. It seems that he planted Estrelita's farm with vines. He wanted to know if I was interested in investing. Huh. Well, that's one thing I like about Sky. He's got the gift of grab. Hi, it's me. Sorry, we have no parts for little old ladies. Oh, that's cute. Where's my money? Oh, you'll get your money as soon as Sky comes back. Well, Sky's never going to pay you back. I didn't say to let him go. You let him go out of the goodness of your little heart. Well, whatever it is you're up to, the answer is no. Oh, come on, Cole. I said one little favor to ask you. Cole, hold. That was rude. I know. You see, I have this friend who's stuck in Arpa Volta. 